1949, the U.S. Supreme Court has ruled in favor of a Georgia death row inmate who claimed racial bias influenced the jury selection for his trial. Timothy Tyrone Foster, an African-American, is on death row for the 1987 murder of an elderly white woman. The jury that convicted him was all white. CBS News senior legal analyst Andrew Cohen. The proof in this case was writing, symbols, uh, check marks uh, that were uh, later... Westbound from sickening traffic University to South, Slow City to Belmont, eastbound not so bad. And 130 northbound between 73 and Cinnamonson Avenue, right lane construction. And this is causing a backlog north on 73 between Haddonfield Road and 130, actually closer to 130 uh, as you exit for northbound 130. Some delays because you dump into that construction zone. Mass Transit, no major tie ups to report on how we bring the True Mark Financial Credit Union 24 hour traffic center. One moment can change your life and one decision can save it. If you or someone you love is critically injured, choose 10 Medicines Level one trauma center at 10 Presbyterian Medical Center. To learn more, visit 10medicine.org slash trauma. Up next, the eyewitness forecast. K-Y-W News Time, 243. I'm Kelly Andrew, president of Safe Senior Living, an innovator in supportive living. Gelford Crossing in Paoli and Plus Mills in Wallingford are like nothing else you see. Resort-like environments, custom designed to fulfill our mission to be the best home for each resident every day. Our latest innovation targets a health risk in any phase. Being discharged too soon after a hospitalization or rehab stay. Faced with new medications, lots of follow-up appointments, therapy sessions, and a home that's simply not suited to a safe and complete recovery. Consider a safe restorative stay. Our communities are ideal settings for short or extended stay recuperation. With all the support, amenities, and comfort you need to so actually enjoy your recovery. Call us to talk about making a safe restorative part of your recovery plan. Call today to plan to turn your recuperation into a safe. Whoa, now. It's so lightning. Yeah, we core punch. We're core punching. Core punching. Presumably a developing thunderstorm. Whoa! Hold on. Today, a prosecutor is continuing to tell jurors to follow the money. This check on the day's trading on Wall Street is sponsored by the Haverford.
Haverford Trust Company, 100% committed to quality investing for more than three decades. HaverfordQuality.com. The Dow is up 46 points, the NASDAQ adding 13 and a half, the S&P 500 up two. Yeah, we just core punched it going into it. Now we come around to the back side of this storm, see what we can get on the other side. Definitely a developing thunderstorm. It's putting down lightning.
group representing Japanese survivors of U.S. atomic bombings is urging President Obama to hear their stories and apologize. But the word from the White House is that Mr. Obama will make no apology. President Obama will become the first U.S. president to visit Hiroshima since the city was devastated by a U.S. atomic bomb at the end of World War II. Explaining a lot of decisions are made in the midst of war, he told the Japanese public broadcaster he would not offer an apology. Asked if his visit alone could be interpreted as an apology. A spokesman said that would be the wrong interpretation. Correspondent Dan Coulter, the president is in Vietnam today, the first stop on a week-long Asian trip. The trip is designed to build stronger economic and security ties with Asian Pacific allies. He's the third sitting president to visit Vietnam since the end of the war. K-1 of the news time, 2.52, now traffic and transit on the two. Just coming into the traffic center, uh, going toward the airport on the flat bridge on the uh, the uh, Penrose Avenue side. We've got some jam traffic uh, because of a disabled vehicle on 26th Street southbound jam, the Schuylkill of Penrose Avenue as a result of this. Google Expressway eastbound jams to Rard to the Vine Street Expressway and uh, also eastbound through the Conshaw and Curve and through Gladys got delayed. And let's go westbound, heavy university and through the Vine Street Expressway, then jam Montgomery out through Belmont. North on 95, thick traffic of between 320 and 476, slow above Vine up through Girardi and Betsy Ross to Cotton. Southbound slow going 476 and through the Commodore Barry Bridge. In Bucks County, Route 1 northbound between Oxford Valley Road and Tyburn Road. Slow going, it's all because of right lane construction. And now it looks like some jam traffic on the Vine Expressway eastbound the entire length. Joining that uh, northbound 95 delay again, Vine up through Girard. And mass transit, no major tie -ups. Just a little clarification or a little more information coming in. Westbound Flat Bridge is going toward the airport. That disabled vehicle is in the left lane just as you start onto the bridge. Mass transit, no major tie ups. I'm Pat Wiggins with Kumar Smith. Industrials are up 46 points this hour, 17,547, the NASDAQ up 13, the S&P 500 is up 2. Crude oil futures fell today, closing at $48.08 a barrel in New York. Bayer has confirmed it made an unsolicited offer to buy Monsanto for $62 billion. The deal is done. The largest provider of seeds and farm chemicals. General Electric announced a series of deals with Saudi Arabia. He will work for the Saudi Arabian Industrial Investments Company, which was formed two years ago. The DE deals are worth nearly one and a half billion dollars. And Boeing has a deal to provide 100 new planes to the Vietnamese carrier Vietjet. At list prices, the planes would be worth more than 11 billion dollars. I'm Jeff Bollinger, Bloomberg Business for KYW News Radio. Business reports on KYW News Radio at 25 and 55. After every hour, KYW News Time, 2.56. We switched to Tompkins Biz Bank because they're committed to supporting our local economy. And they made it easy to switch banks. They call building products. We support our local builders just like the bank supports us. We're customer focused and we offer personal service. Our business. Bank is committed to 
Bumble. It's where they help builders. It's where we make decisions. Compton Fifth Bank. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. They are out there working, scheming, ready to attack. Are you prepared? Is your SAP investment protected? Do you know who has access to your business critical data? Turn to the experts at Symmetry for SAP Application Management and Secure Cloud Hosting. Symmetry's certified team of SAP experts will provide full-scale technology, security, and IT support services to keep your SAP system protected so you can rest easy. Be a hero. Visit SymmetrySAP.com to learn more. Symmetry. Manage ERP and cloud hosting experts. Hello, over your news time 257. A murder, the murder trial for an actor who played a police officer on the shield begins today. Star respondent Sierra Crawford reports. Michael Gates has charged with killing his wife last night in the Los Angeles home. New details have been released about her death, but prosecutors say Gates shot his wife in the back and then again as her young children watch. The 53 year old actor has remained behind bars ever since. His attorneys say his state of mind at the time will be crucial to his defense. The judge will consider final pre trial motions before jury selection gets underway later today in Los Angeles. Few details about April Gates' death have been revealed to this point. Planned Parenthood has lost a legal battle with Ohio's Health Department, which defunds some money from the state's organization. The law defunding $1.3 million from Ohio's Planned Parenthood centers is now in effect. Stephanie Kite is Ohio's Planned Parenthood CEO. This is a moment of great shame for Ohio and the Ohio legislators who brought this bill forward. The law signed by former GOP presidential candidate Governor John Kasich was a bipartisan measure co-authored by a Democratic state representative. Greg Saber for CBS News, Cleveland. 76 degrees, scattered clouds at the CBS Broadcast Center, 76 at the airport.